Nick Cannon. Oh, it's man Ross Winnick. It's out of bounds. You are Mankind Beach Champion. Magic. It just happens at the Manhattan Beach Open. This is why I fell in love with the sport at the Manhattan Beach Open. It creates it. And usually with magic comes some epic stories. Manhattan Beach, can I get a little more? Let's back up a second. Let's take it back. All the way back to the beginning. Enjoying our coverage of women's professional beach volleyball here on Prime Ticket. In 1984, the world of beach volleyball would be forever changed with the birth of the AVP. The Association of Beach Volleyball Professionals, created by the best men and women beach volleyball players in the United States. Beach volleyball became one of the first professional sports to include both genders at its onset. However, we're going to show you action in the women's division, the AVP Women's Challenge. Nancy Reno and Anne. It was a huge step for us in the realm of sports. Yes, she does! It was a thrilling moment. We were a part of something special. However, by 1987, only three years later, the women were dropped from the tour. A frustrating, short-lived glory on the AVP stage. But in 1993, the AVP made the decision to once again reunite the men and women under one tour. We were back. Eight of us competed in 16 Queen of the Beach formatted tournaments, culminating in the crowning of a legend in the making, Holly McPeak. Playing alongside Cami Sorelli, the duo became the first official AVP Women's Champions of the Manhattan Beach Open. Yet it proved not enough. The AVP would again separate the tours after the 1994 season. Seven long years we waited. Patiently. Now's our time. Barbara Fontana and Elaine Youngs lead our return to the AVP. triumphing over Lisa Arce and Holly McPeak in none other than the Manhattan Beach Open. Taking home the same prize money as the men, I might add. The first time the event offered gender equal prize money. Things were changing. No team in AVP history, men or women, has ever gone through a season and won every tournament. McPeak and Youngs have an opportunity this year. And future bronze medalists Elaine Youngs and Holly McPeak are upset by Annette Davis and Jenny Johnson Jordan, of the year, Youngs is who become the first African American team to win the Manhattan Beach Open. And the undefeated season is over. Holly and EY avenge their 2002 finals loss and defeat Annette Davis and Jenny Johnson Jordan to win the NBO. But this victory marked Mick Peak's 68th career title, surpassing Carolyn Kirby and setting a new all-time career wins record. This is all about Holly today. I really wanted her to win this today. It's very emotional for both of us. Over 14 years, it's been a long time. I really appreciate it. This is why I fell in love with the sport at the Manhattan Beach Open, and I'm so proud to win my 68th here in front of everybody. Wait, wait. Rewind me to 2003. Perfect. This marked the beginning of a truly iconic era, one that would redefine women's beach volleyball. This was the era of Kerry Walsh Jennings and Misty May Trainer. And it's over! Misty May and Kerry Walsh have won here in Manhattan Beach. In 2003, they commenced their reign, winning every single AVP event that year, including the Manhattan Beach Open. Kerry for the win, that's it! She's got a swing for the win! Got it! Kerry Walsh and Misty May Trainer are Manhattan Beach Open winners for the fifth time. Their decade of dominance is hard to exaggerate. Misty May and Kerry Walsh, impressive. 63 AVP wins 
trainer, and Carrie Walsh, another title. 40 FIVB wins and three Olympic gold medals. But in 2014, the next juggernaut would emerge. On the day you were born, they said you will be the future star of the ABP Tour. April Ross, are you ready for that? Get out here. April Ross. Matching what Carrie accomplished with Misty back in 03, Carrie and April swept the AVP season in all seven events, including the Manhattan Beach Open. This would be Carrie's seventh and final MBO win. Yet this was only the beginning of April Ross. At the close of 2017, April Ross formed a new partnership with the relatively untested Alex Kleinman, who had left the indoor game and national team less than a year prior in 2016. But the risk paid off for both April and Alex. Getting Alex's name on the pier, having our name on the pier together, winning the Manhattan Beach Open. Within just eight months, they clinched their first MBO title, heralding the rise of a new alpha in the domain of beach volleyball the A-Team, who together would go on to win 11 more titles on the AVP, six on the FIVB, and an Olympic gold medal. 2022 marked a pivotal shift in the AVP Manhattan Beach Open dynamics. The dominion of Misty and Carrie, Carrie and April, then April and Alex had finally concluded and from their legacy emerged the direct products of NCAA Collegiate Beach Volleyball. And we have got one, two, three, four players looking to get their names on the pier for the very first time. Culminating in the first MBO final made up of all former NCAA Beach Volleyball athletes. Sarah Hughes and Kelly Kalinske against Kelly Chang and Betsy Flint. the changing of the guard was now complete. The AVP's history of women's beach volleyball at the Manhattan Beach Open is a tale of resilience and evolution. From the sporadic inclusion of women in the early years to the establishment of gender equal prize money and the emergence of iconic players and partnerships. This is our first time playing in Manhattan Beach and just the history and the energy here, it's so special to be here. The sport has undergone significant changes. Each era brought new challenges and triumphs, contributing to an exciting legacy of the AVP and solidifying women's beach volleyball as an integral and dynamic part of professional sports. This journey, marked by groundbreaking achievements and inspiring comebacks, reflects our relentless spirit and the ever-enduring appeal of women's beach volleyball.